so I am going to capture chapter 11 alive of a series of plague tale innocence. If you like the video and want to be notified when the next video drops, please hit subscribe and press the bell icon. Or if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. So without waiting any further, let's get this. So you succeeded? Here. I have to warn you, smells a bit burnt. Who's he? Roderick. But shh. Uh, the sanguine is it's an error. What is this book about? It's... it's the story of a little boy who's going to get a lot better now. Right, I'm starving. Anyone else? Me. Come and eat then. I think we deserve it. You too. Coming. No, no, no! Bloody hell! That's no good. Hey, are you all right? It's nothing! <sighs> Tell me, this door, have you ever opened it before? It's stuck. It's the only place in the chateau we haven't been yet. Don't you want to see what's behind it? Well, Hugo is asleep. Let's go take a look. This, at least, I know how to do! There you go. Well, that was... efficient. And almost painless. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Can you feel that? No. What? When you enter a place that has been abandoned for a very long time, there's something in the air. Yes, dust. No, the stones. It's like interrupting a conversation. <sighs> this is the first time I've felt it here. Hmm. That looks dangerous. Let's avoid it for now. Another door. Shall we continue? Of course. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, the courtyard. It's a shortcut. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. I found something while I was doing some clearing earlier. Come take a look. Another story about stones? Actually, you're not far off. A fresco. It's strangely familiar. It includes the symbols of the pillars. This castle has things to tell us, huh? And what is it telling us then? Even I don't understand everything. I just think we'll be fine here. Amicia! Come quickly! It's Hugo! Oh no. I'm coming! Need me? Uh, I'll call you. Come on! Come on! I'm here, Lucas! Quickly! Hugo, please. <clears throat> It's getting worse and worse. The macula is progressing too fast. I realize that, Amicia. I'm doing my best. I... I mean, I'm trying to do what the book says, but it's going to take too long. I need a proper laboratory. Like Laurentius had? No, no. One with better equipment. Well, perhaps my mother at my home. She must have had some equipment there. You're right. It's worth a try. Yeah. 
Lucas. I believe your twins are back. Melly, you found him. More dead than alive. But yes. I miss you. We we came because, well. Yes. Arthur, you tell her. After our little adventure with your heretic burning friends, I ended up in an Inquisition cell. One day I saw the guards accompany a prisoner who looked the worse for wear. Those bastards wanted her to tell them where her son was, so they threatened her. And I heard her name. Beatrice Storu. Mother is alive? She's alive? You managed to get Arthur out? It wasn't simple. Believe me. So you could... Forget it. I was nothing. She... She's too important to the Grand Inquisitor. He, uh... Questions her... a lot. They... torture her? Hugo mustn't know anything of this. Even that she's alive? It might help him. And what will we say when he wants to see her? Tell him nothing, alright? No! Hugo! Hugo! Ah! Ah! The next threshold! Ah! It's coming! We have to go at once! To my home! Now! Hugo, we'll stay here with him. It will be alright, my little brother. I swear, this time we will heal you. Alright, I'll get the Sanguinis Genera and some potions, and then we'll leave. <laughs> 